I'd like to welcome everybody to our uh, November school board meeting. Paul Rose is present. Mr. Jewell? Here. Mrs. Lanehart? Here. Mr. Campbell? Mr. Dunkman? Yes. And Mr. Moore? Yes. At this time, I'd like to have uh, Mr. Hawkins lead us in the uh, Pledge of Lease. Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Hook for the student recognition. Thank you, Mr. Jewell and members of the board. We've got a, a large group with us. Uh, we're going to kind of take it in sections, and then as we do so, that group, feel free to leave, and then we'll start the next group. Uh, so uh, we'll move it that way anyway to start with. So right out of the gate, I want to introduce uh, Mr. Turner who's got a presentation for uh, fall sports that I think is pretty noteworthy. We, uh, th thank you, Mr. Hook, Mr. Bassler Board. Um, we usually don't bring in junior high teams because there's no all league or anything, but uh, in this situation, we kind of wanted to really recognize this group of young men. They, uh, they've done something that I don't, we don't believe has been accomplished before, uh, but they never lost a junior high football game in their seventh and eighth grade years. Uh, they've been 16 and 0, and they do now have the SWBL championships, as they've won two SWBL championships in two years. So we're just bringing them here. We want to recognize them and just tell them what a great job. For, uh, Mr. Uh, Clark is our head coach. He could not be here tonight. Mr. Uh, Hawkins is our assistant coach, so he's going to give you a few things, and then he's going to bring the guys down. And parents, if you want to get a quick picture with them up here, he'll get, we'll give them a certificate, get a picture, and then you're free to go after that. So, Mr. Hawkins, Chris Hawkins. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Just a few details on the last couple seasons for these guys. Um, in 2016, this class completed a perfect 8 0 season, capturing the SWBL Buckeye Championship. During that season, the, this team outscored their opponents to, uh, 306 to 14. On October 18, 2017, the class of 2022 completed their junior high football season with their second consecutive SWL Buckeye Championship. This year, this class outscored their opponents 314 to 26 and route to their second consecutive perfect season at 8-0. This class finished their junior high career with back-to-back -back SWL Buckeye Championships in which the defense posted 10 shutouts out of 16 games. Um, uh, on a schedule where they only allowed three points per game. The Indians' high-powered offense posted over 620 points during their two years, outscoring their opponents in total for the two seasons, 620 to 40. Um, the class of two, uh, 2022 has become Carlisle's first junior high football team to complete their junior high career at a perfect 16 and 0. So I'm going to call the boys up. Boys, when you come up, get your certificate. I'm going to just line up in front um, so your parents can get pictures. Grant Cheney. <coughs> Yep. Cody Riley. Bryson Wright. Nathan Ledford. Logan Caldill. Bryce Naylor. Scott Bruns. Chase Patrick, Cole Larison, Dylan Walker, Kean Spradlin, Braden Morse, Lucas Fox. Chase Chapman, John Pottinger, Talon Borders, Alex Couch,
Johnny Gay. And Sam Haas. I don't know why that would have. Just tell him we'll get him. Cam back. Wiseman. <clears throat> Next person I want to introduce uh, the board as well. I've got uh, Mr. Augustine, our athletic director here, for a pretty important presentation as well. Thank you, Mr. Hook, board members. Um, I'd like to call up Krista Harris, um, girls soccer senior. Um, she's been uh, voted, chosen as second team all state. Uh, this is the first time that Carlisle has had this in uh, All-State in uh, girls soccer. Um, in addition, uh, Krista has achieved following accolades, uh, first team Southwest Buckeye League, first team Dayton Southwest District 3. Um, statistics, she finished second in league in scoring with 24 goals, finished first in the league with 14 assists, uh, a career total of 53 goals and 31 assists. So, uh, Krista, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Not least, I wanted to introduce Mr. John Oliver, our marching band director. Uh, quite an eventful fall, so I'm going to turn it over to you now. Uh, first of all, guys, thank you for having me out here. I feel like I'm here uh, every single month talking about uh, how great our kids are. Um, it's been an incredible uh, two and a half year ride so far. I guess I say this every month. Uh, tremendous improvement uh, by our kids. Always inspired uh, by their work ethic. Um, th things were not good here uh, two and a half years ago, and they really put their head down, uh, worked their butts off. Um, just incredible kids. And, you know, we said in my interview that we wanted to up the energy level of the program. Uh, make band a thing to do in Carlisle again, then the results uh, would eventually come. Um, and this year, they, they finally started coming for us. It was our first time qualifying for state finals since 2003. Uh, I was a sophomore in high school then, um, so quite a while ago. Um, also, you know, won numerous contests, uh, numerous caption awards. And I thought really had our best show here we've had here in quite some time. Um, they went all out, worked their butts off, we really got behind us. Um, we have an incredible marching band staff that helps out. So um, also a tremendous band parent organization that uh, helps us with uh, all of our needs. So um, a really a special season and one that I think will be um, a strong foundation uh, going forward. We got a, um, a small senior class, we'll have huge numbers next year. I think this is just the beginning um, of our program's growth. So we got 65 kids. It would take forever to call them individually. So we're going to do it by class. And then I'll hand you guys your certificates uh, out in the commons later. So our first class, uh, our small but mighty senior class. Seniors, come on up. <laughs> Good 
We've got a uh, grand total of five seniors. One can be here tonight. Um, but a senior class, has, that's, that's a, that they've endured a lot, you know, multiple directors, obviously a big culture change. Um, so our senior class. Next class is a larger class, our junior class. Hey, man. Have a good trip. How about a sophomore class? Yeah, hey, go to the front, guys. Oh, we're getting started, brother. Our ever improving freshman class. And this year we marched a few eighth graders. Eighth graders, come on up. How could I forget? You need to go front. You need to go somewhere else. Eric, what are you saying back? Uh, once again, a uh, great group of kids who are more importantly uh, really involved in our community. They have tremendous grade point averages. Um, they don't get in trouble in school. Just a, a terrific group of kids I am lucky uh, to teach every single day. This is our, uh, our past year's marching band. And I will shut up. Good night, kids. Let's go. Okay, at this time is the uh, time we have for our visitors' comments. Is any of our visitors which is all left? Got something to comment? <laughs> Rushing the podium. <laughs> if not, we'll move on to the treasury report. Mr. Bastard. Thank you, Mr. Jewell. Uh, no non-action items this week. I can only give an audit update so many months, so I'll <laughs> lay off the audit update uh, for this month and save it for next month. Uh, so we'll get right ahead with the action items. Uh, first, I need an approval for the minutes uh, from the regularly scheduled board meeting last October 23rd. Seven. Second. For first and second there. First by Mrs. Lanehart, second by Mr. Dunkman. Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Dunkman? Yes. And Mr. Jewell. Yes. Next is the financial report, uh, which is part of your packet. Uh, broken record. Everything seems to be going along just fine. Uh, no surprises. Uh, finishing up our large bills that we have from the start up of school. Uh, but nothing out of the ordinary. Um, just moving right along. Need a motion? Mm -hmm. First by Mr. Duncan. Second. By Mrs. Lanehart. Hold roll, please. Mr. Duncan? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Next, uh, do you have a couple appropriation modifications out of our federal grants? Received notification that there's a, a change uh, on two of them. Title I went up, Title II went down. <coughs> Basically the same amount of money as we had before, but need the approval for these modifications. Need a motion? So moved. First second. by Mrs. Lanehart, second by Mr. Duckman. Call the roll, please. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Duckman? Yes. And Mr. Jewell? Yes. And then lastly, uh, we had a donation uh, given to the Carlisle Middle School Redo Day uh, and uh, for the Muse Machine as part of Redo Day. Need a motion? So moved. First by Mr. Duckman. Second. By Mrs. Lanehart. Call the roll, please. Mr. Duckman? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. And Mr. Jewell? Yes. That would be my report for the month. Thank you very much. And we'll turn it over to Mr. Hook. Thank you, Mr. Jewell. Uh, first, uh, my non-action items. Uh, we began in terms of construction updates. We are in the process of getting our construction manager uh, selected. Uh, we have completed our sections 
and the, those are at the state right now uh, with OFCC. I would anticipate by this week we'll have uh, the final interviews, at least processing and getting set up. All that's supposed to be done before the Christmas break, uh, hopefully. But our part's done. So um, the other piece that's going on right now is we uh, is the educational visioning uh, process. This is really I had mentioned this last board meeting, but it's now in full swing. Uh, Mr. Dunkman and Mrs. Lane Hart are representing the board on that committee. It's a committee of a, almost 40 people uh, representing a cross-section of our entire community, students, staff, business uh, partners, parents, uh, different age school kids, tried to uh, hit the, a broad cross-section. And really this group is uh, tasked, uh, along with our architects, in terms of trying to identify uh, what education will look like as we progress. Because this process, um, you know, we have one chance to do this right. Um, and none of us will be around to do another one. Not at this magnitude. You know, it just <laughs> do the math. You know, it'll be the, the next. Could we grow enough to add, you know, sure, that's a possibility, but, you know, it's important to, to try to, at least to the best of our abilities, determine what physical impact education will, will make on this structure. And so, uh, we had two architects writing feverishly during that whole process, and another architect leading the actual discussion. Uh, it was a solid two hours. Uh, in there, we have another, our next meeting is scheduled for this Wednesday, uh, and then the following Wednesday, and the following Wednesday, and then we should have this, this piece wrapped up. Uh, there will be other groups that get contacted uh, by our architects throughout this process. Uh, more specifically with science labs, computer labs, locker rooms, all the different spacings that you're going to need within this physical structure. So a lot still to do, but this is the big one. This is a big one to make sure we get this thing right. Uh, so uh, as I've always said, it's a year in process, in planning. Uh, I'm still hopeful you know, once we break ground and it's a two-year process after that. So um, we are on target at this point, um, and I will update you at the next board meeting where we'll have actually this process should be done. So, and you can enjoy the band as you're thinking about <laughs> Soundproofing may be part of it. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to share that. Uh, the only other thing is I'd mentioned to you Senate Bill 216, which was kind of a, they called it the deregulation bill. A lot in it. There has not been any movement on it yet. Um, I think you've got several senators of ours that are very interested in the teacher licensure, the teacher evaluations, some of it was state assessments, etc. They may break it up. That's what I'm hearing right now, is they may break it up and bring it into, into smaller pieces. So more to come on that. Uh, so with that, uh, any questions, I'll move I on. I think I hear them breaking it up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we might not have to demo anything here before we all watch it. <laughs> it's going to start shaking here before long. So, moving on to my action items uh, under classified resignation, I need the approval for item A listed below. I need a motion. So moved. First by Mrs. Second. Lanehart. Second by Mr. Dunkman. Call the roll, please. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Dunkman? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Item B2 under classified employment, uh, need approval for A and B listed below. I need a motion. So moved. First by Mr. Duncan. Second. By Mrs. Lanehart. Call the roll, please. Mr. Duncan? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. And Mr. Jewell? Yes. 
Finally, under the supplemental employment, uh, I need approval. A lot of them are winter uh, supplementals. Uh, I need approval for items A through J listed. Need a motion? So moved. First by Mrs. Lanehart. Second. By Mr. Dutman. Call the roll, please. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Dutman? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. That concludes my section. Okay. With the Board of Education, did we have anything on? Well, he's not here, so do we have anything in CTC? Um, no, I don't. Thank you. Do we have any old business? Any new business? Then uh, I guess I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. First by Mr. Duncan. Second. By Mrs. Lanehart. Call the roll, please. Mr. Duncan? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. And Mr. Jewell? Yes. Time is 628.